And guys, let's look at this problem right here. This question is asking two mutually coherent beams having parallel electric fields are described by E1 is equal to 3 cos Ks1 minus omega t plus 5 by 5, E2 is equal to 4 Ks 4 cos Ks2 minus omega t plus 5 by 6 with amplitudes in kV over m. The beams interfere at a point P where the phase difference due to the path is 5 by 3. At point of superposition, calculate the irradiance I1 and I2 of the individual beams. The B part is asking the irradiance I12 due to their interference and the C part is asking for the net irradiance and the D part is asking for the fringe visibility. Okay. Now let's go with the A part. A part is asking for the irradiance of I1 and I2. Now to calculate the irradiance what we do is we use this equation I is equal to C epsilon naught divided by 2 E naught square. Okay. C is the speed of EM wave that's going to be same as the speed of light and epsilon naught is the permittivity constant and E naught is the given amplitude of the wave in our case that is 3 for the first wave is 3 but we have to be careful about the unit because in the question they have mentioned that the amplitude is in kV per m so this is kilo 10 to the power of 3 okay so let, let's go ahead and plug the values C is equal to 2.998 times 10 to the power of 8 meter per second and then permittivity constant is 8.8542 times 10 to the power of minus 12 divided by 2 times this amplitude square the given amplitude for the first wave is 3 so 3 and also this is in kilo volts per meter okay so kilo is 10 to the power of 3 so we multiply this one by 3 and that's it and if you calculate this one you are going to get 11,945 watts per meter square watts per meter square so this is I1 okay this is I1 now to calculate I2 it's the same thing the only difference is we are going to change the amplitude because for E2 wave we have amplitude 4 right so it's going to be 4 kilovolts per meter and that's the only difference others are going to remain the same so we multiply 2.998 times 10 to the power of 8 times 8.8542 times 10 to the power of minus 12 times in this time in this time we are going to have 4 right here 4 times 10 to the power of 3 divided by 2 and that's going to give you 21,235 watts per meter square. Now we are done with the A part. Now let's look at the B part. B part is asking the irradiance I12 due to their interference. Okay. Now to calculate the irradiance due to interference, first of all we have to know the phase angle, actually phase difference. Phase difference can be calculated using k s2 minus s1 plus phi 2 minus phi 1 okay in the question they have mentioned where the phase difference due to the path is 5 by 3 so that is our this value k s2 minus s1 that is 5 by 3 okay this whole part is 5 by 3 and phi 2 minus phi 1 we had to use this values 5 by 6 and the second one is 5 by 5 right so this one this one is going to be 5 by 6 phi 2 is for the second wave 5 by 6 minus 5 by 5 because it's given in the wave equation okay now let's go ahead and plug the values so 5 by 3 plus 5 by 6 minus 5 by 5 and uh, that's going to give you and if you convert this one into radians actually degrees you're going to get 54 degree right you have to know phi is 180 degree and if you convert everything in degrees you will get 54 degree so this is our this angle because we need this angle because we are trying to calculate irradiance due to the interference irradiance due to the interference equation is given by i12 is equal to 2 square root of i1 i2 cos delta okay delta is the angle we calculated using this formula now we are going to plug that formula here and i1 i2 we already calculated this is our i1 value and here we have our i2 value all we have to do is just plug this value in this equation and also we have the angle we can plug it right there and we can find our final answer so this is going to be 2 square root of i1 is equal to 11,945 multiplied by 21,235 
21,235 multiplied by cos angle. This cos angle is 54 degree. And if you calculate this one, you're going to get 18,723 watts per meter square. Okay, so this is going to be the irradiance due to interference. Now let's look at the C part. C part is asking the net irradiance. To find out the net irradiance, what we do is net irradiance net i that's going to be addition of all these three i1 plus i2 plus irradiance due to interference that is i12 okay and if you add all these three together that's going to be the net irradiance now let's go ahead and plug the values 11945 plus 21235 and irradiance due to the interference that is 18723 and if you add them all together, you are going to get 51,903 watts per meter square. Okay, so this is the C part. Now let's go with the D part. The D part is asking for the fringe visibility. Now to calculate the fringe visibility, we use this equation. That is I max minus I min. So let's put visibility. Visibility is equal to I max minus I min divided by I max plus I mean okay now in order to do this problem we have to calculate I max I mean the equation is very similar to this interference equation the only difference is we won't have the angle okay actually yeah we won't have the angle and that's it okay let's go ahead and find the value actually it's, it's very similar to this net irradiance equation for the i12 we won't consider this angle we add them together without this cos phi we recalculate everything okay so let's calculate i max i max is going to be i1 plus i2 and also we are going to have 2 square root of i1 i2 okay and here you can see before when we calculate net irradiance we had I1 plus I2, this I12 is basically this one, 2 square root of I1, I2 cos angle. Here we don't have the angle, that's the difference, okay? So that's how we calculate maximum. And if you plug the values, we all we have all the values, right? I1 is equal to 11,945, I2 is equal to 21,235, and uh, this one, 2, and uh, you have to plug the I1, I2 again in this one, square root. And if you calculate this one, you are going to get 65,032.91. And uh, this is for I max and I mean same approach but the only difference is here we will have negative right so this is going to be I1 plus I2 and this is going to be minus 2 square root of I1 I2 and if you calculate this one you are going to get 1327.08 watts per meter square so these are the values now we can plug it in this equation that's going to give us the fringe visibility okay and let's go ahead and do that so first we have i max that's going to be 65032.9 minus i min that's 1327.08 divided by 65032.9 plus 1327.08 and if you calculate this one you're going to get 0 0.96 therefore the fringe visibility fringe visibility is equal to 0 0.96 that is our d part and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope this helps thanks for watching